Okay, let's take a deep cleansing breath here. This next story will put a positive spin on your night. We know that hundreds of thousands of people live in DC, but sometimes it's easy to forget that we're more than just a number here. Every single person has their own story to share. A DC photographer, he found a creative way to capture the humanity of our city. Here's transportation reporter Pete Montine. I didn't know what it would look like. Patrick Wright might be one of the few people who described the metro as beautiful. During four years of the transit system's most trying times, Wright took photos of those bearing the brunt of delays and closures, the riders. It's not your conventional beauty. 45 of Wright's photos were just published in a small magazine called A Zine. It's titled Sidetracked. I hope that when people look at the photos and the zine, they can see the metro in a different light. Wright collaborated with Katie Dance, an independent photography publisher in D.C. Dance first saw the photos on Instagram and knew they'd be a success. The first edition of Sidetracked has already sold out. You can pre-order a new edition online. I've seen a lot of work on the D.C. metro. I hadn't seen these quiet, solitary moments that were so relatable. Wright would ask his subjects to return to the mood they were in before he approached them. The results range from ethereal to entertaining. You know, a lot of times it is a pain to ride the metro. We want to bury our heads in our phones and put on our headphones. But if you look up and you look around, there's a lot of beauty and there's a lot of interesting people in the metro. A message about metro shown through the people who ride it. Pete Muntean, WUSA 9.